What's up YouTube? This is What's Up Vapor bringing you another review this time of dun, da, 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 Yep, the Stingray X clone from Infinite. Man, this thing this thing is gorgeous. Um for you guys that don't know, this is um well, you know, a clone of the JD Tech Stingrays um by Infinite. It's actually a copper mod with a steel wrap. Um it actually comes with this drip tip, just like the copper black, if you guys are familiar with that. Um, there was a copper black version, right? This was that guy. And it came with that Delrin. I, I love this drip tip. I mean, it was one of my favorite dip drip tips. I've been using it constantly. And they've managed to provide you with another one. This is not Delrin, but, oh my gosh, it looks so, it looks so good. This is kind of what I've been waiting for, you know, I mean, we've got the steel look with the copper accents all the way throughout. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. So, we'll break it down, take a look um, at, at the switch, the engravings, uh, the top cap, the, you know, the, the contacts, and then um, this thing also comes with a hybrid adapter, um, and I'll show you how that goes on and uh, why you may want to use that. So that's the hybrid adapter. The drip tip actually came in this and the, obviously the model was just in here. So we'll put that aside and I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. These threads are absolutely buttery smooth. You know, that's, that's like the, uh, the consistency that I, that I like from Infinite is that the quality of their products is, is absolutely amazing. Very, very nice. Always, always smooth threading. Um, I haven't had any bad luck with any Infinite products yet, so... Uh, not that I work for Infinite or anything, but I do prefer their, their products, so... Alright, so let's go ahead and take this apart. So the tube is actually three sections. Um, you can't really... I mean, maybe you can see the seams there, but but it's, it's pretty nice. Nicely put together because they're, they're barely visible. Um, there's three sections to the tubes for your different battery sizes. Okay, I'm not going to pull it all the way apart. You can see the inside, copper tube. Pull off the top cap, I guess you can see all the way through here. And then I'll show you the contacts on that. So, here you go. Copper tube, steel wrapped. And, um, you know, your top cap here also, copper, silver plated pin. Um, just like the Stingray style, you know, you have your locking ring, I'll, oops, pull that apart, the locking ring, uh, to prevent firing there so you can lock it, and then your, your switch, your firing switch, which also, this is a magnetic switch, just like the previous Stingrays that had the magnetic switch, um, I'm not going to pull it apart for the purpose of this review, it's, it's, it's pretty smooth, I had some issues with the copper black one, at some point, but I think it was just because stuff was getting there, getting inside uh, the switch, you know, and, and I just had to clean it, but it's it's pretty smooth. Alright guys, so let's put this thing back together so I can just show you real quick um, how the hybrid adapter would work on this versus putting, you know, this, this top cap back on. I don't know, you might like it. This top cap obviously has, uh, you know, those airflow channels. Uh, on top, whereas, you know, with the hybrid adapter, it looks like you got some, some holes there, but uh, I don't know exactly how that would come into play, you know, let's, let's, let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. So here comes this back off, top cap back off, and we'll put this back together, the Smooth as heck, just smooth. Oops, looks like we got some canthal there. What the hell? All right, really smooth. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but but my point is that it's really smooth. <laughs> so let's pop the battery in there. 
the hell's going on? All right, so the battery's in there. I, obviously, I'm going to need to back this off a little bit, so we'll do that. And I'm going to go ahead and throw that magma back on. So, like I said, um, it would probably be good to throw your RDA onto this hybrid adapter first instead of trying to screw this instead of trying to screw this into your tube first so we'll set that on just like that there's the the contact from my RDA that just comes straight through the bottom I guess I can see the airflow how that would work now um, you know for for any any tank or whatnot or any RDA that had that type of airflow I guess I can see how that works but that looks that looks absolutely amazing I guess if you wanted a more flush, flush look, if you had, had to not sacrifice the gap down here, um, that might work. I gotta imagine, I gotta imagine the voltage drop would be less too because of the fact that, well, you're making direct contact with the battery. You know, you've got, you don't have any more material to conduct through. But that is, that is making direct contact with the battery. Your your atomizer contact. And the battery top are making direct contact there, so I gotta imagine there's a less uh, less of a voltage drop there. I'm gonna go ahead and twist this. Uh, let's see, son of a gun. Just wanna see how this thing fires up. My coils are probably looking pretty nasty right now. I've been, I'm well, not nasty. It's always good stuff. Yeah, that thing. And that's like a. I want to say that's a point, point 0.5 ohm coil. This thing is doing good. Well, like I said, guys, I was going to make this a brief one as well. Um, the Copper Stingray X from Infinite, clone of the JD Tech Stingray X. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Got to have it. Check us out on uh, www.whatsupvapor.com. You know, like like the video if if the review is helpful at all. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, I'll post the links in the description below. Uh, hope this helped any of you out there that are looking into this mod. It's really really gorgeous. I I can't get over the fact that how nice this thing looks all put together. So, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, see you next time. I'm gonna have a Review hopefully of that IPv2 uh, box mod from Greenleaf slash Pioneer for you. I'm hoping to get that in pretty soon. So, so that that should be pretty nice. Like I said, subscribe and keep following us. We'll, we'll keep giving you up the the updates as we get them. Thanks.